Hi everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wares and I have some stenciled snarky goodness to share with you today. So here is an older stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. It's a 6x9 and it is called Love Splash. I have a card base of 110 pound cardstock, my blending brushes, and here is a photo of the finished card. So caffeine makes me sparkle. It sure does. It's actually my lifeline. I can't function without it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I made this card. I'm actually just going to use part of the design. You can see you could use this opening as a focal point, but it would probably work better on a larger type of card. Now, since I'm just working on a two size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, I didn't really want that masked off center portion to be quite so big. So I'm kind of just kicking it off at an angle to the side and creating this cool splash of hearts along the card. Now you can see here, my ink pad is extremely juicy. I actually just refilled all of them. And so it's a bit of a hot mess with my blending. I'm really heavy handed towards the center. Um, of the opening and then more light handed as I move outward. But I can tell looking at it that I went under the stencil and I'm already thinking like, oh man, how am I going to fix this? So um, I'm coming in with this purplish color just to add even more contrast um, and gradation to the coloring here. But once I remove the stencil, I know, look, I messed it up. So this is no fault of the stencil. This is just because, you know, I was coming at it like a lumberjack and my ink pad was too juicy. So I'm looking through my little critter book here thinking I'm going to need something big um, to kind of cover my mistake here. So don't give up on your cards. Just be, um, just persevere and find different ways to, to fix your mistake, whether it's a blingage moment and you slap a sequin on it or you find a big old Fatty McGee die cut like this, um, <laughs> like this bear. Um, I'm just basically looking for any huge critters um, in my little critter book here just to kind of mask my mistake. So that bear is one option that's from Simon Hurley. Um, I have this other bear. I don't know what that's from, but either of these would have worked, but it just wasn't really the the look I was going for. So then I go on the hunt looking for my um, caffeinated critters. I realize now I need to actually stamp and color a bunch more of them. If you aren't familiar, uh, these caffeinated critters are from a company called the Rabbit Hole Designs and they are hilarious. So they're all these like strung out looking critters that just, you know, can't function without uh, coffee and I'm pretty sure they're all my spirit animals so I had to have them um, and this is the unicorn um, I actually got the stamp set out um, just because I wanted to use the coordinating sentiment because those are funny too and on all of them you'll also see there's like the um, additional stamp that's the actual um, symbol for caffeine. So super creative, fun. Um, and like I said, I have most of the caffeinated critters in my stash just because I think they're fabulous and they make me laugh. So I'm just stamping caffeine makes me sparkle on this little um, strip that I had previously die cut out. That's actually the new shadow layer um, dies that I got from LDRS Creative. And I am slapping some um, thin foam strips. I accidentally grabbed two, but it was fine because it was kind of a a fat um, strip there. So I'm just removing the backer and I'm just going to lay that down um, towards the top center of the card. And then I'm able to kind of position the <laughs> tired looking unicorn over my mistake on the front of the card with some um, foam tape as well. So added a little bit of blingage and that's going to finish my card. So fun, snarky, um, was able to stick with it and not waste the blending even though I kind of messed it up pretty rightly and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, like I said, I showcase two small woman-owned business, so check out A Colorful Life Designs and The Rabbit Hole Designs, both women-owned. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.